Hey everybody, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to play, be playing Skyblock on Fallen Tech servers. So this is my first time ever going on here, and we're just going to hop right into it, because uh, I have no idea what to expect. So, we'll just see how it is. Okay, wow, there's a lot of things going on the screen. So, I'm just going to go to my island. Because I made one, and I know how. It's just slash is go, Drago Island. And so, yeah, let's go. Oh, I forgot the space between is and go. So, yeah, let's just go to my island, and let's see what's what we have to do. Okay, so it looks like we have a chest, a cobblestone generator, and a tree. In the chest, we got ice, lava, Carrots. Oops. Drop the carrots. Whoa. Anyways, we got ice, lava, carrots, a bone, sugarcane, seeds, um, wheat seeds, beetroot seeds, pumpkin seeds, bread, and some weird thing. Okay, a coal origin. I wonder what that is. But I guess we'll figure that out. So for now, I don't really know what we're going to do. But we're probably going to get mining to cobblestone or we're going to start mining our tree. So, I'm going to go to the shop right now and see what I can buy with my $3,000. I really want to try to get, like, spawners, but, like, I've, they're pretty expensive, I've heard. So, we'll see about that later. Because those will probably get me lots of money. So, I'm going to go back to the shop and see what other things we can buy. So, looks like there are pets, enchants, potions, spawners, CE books, items, furniture, equipment mana shop and blocks that you can buy so there's all sorts of armor and weapons and tools and things you can buy let's see how much a prismarine shard is but that's kind of weird so i don't think we should buy it right now i'm gonna go back to the shop it's kind of annoying how you have to retype it every time but whatever so let's see what there is for f equipment there's all sorts of there's all sorts of things but i think i'm gonna buy myself an iron pickaxe Yeah, so after we buy this pickaxe, um, oh yeah, so we're going to continue shopping. And then from here, we're just going to browse around in the shop for a little bit and see what else they have. So they have some pretty interesting potions, as well as some very, very interesting enchants and equipment things. But what's the mana shop? I'm questioning what this is. So we're going to go in here and see what an auto miner is, but I don't think I'm going to buy it because it's probably going to be super expensive. And I'm going to go back to the shop and see what other things I can buy. Well, there's pets, but there's also enchants, but I think I want to check those out first. And we're just going to go browsing around and see what they do. But now I think I'm kind of done with going in the shop after this. And so I'm going to be thinking about my island and things I might want to get, like furniture. So, let's see. There's still water and still lava, but I don't think they'll act like normal water and lava. So I'm not going to buy them just yet, because I don't really know what they're going to do. There's also items for resources, food, farms, and dyes, and stuff. So I think I'm going to buy something for farming, or at least see what the options are. There's also brewing items, which are pretty interesting. And we're just going to have to see what they do later on. There's also resources, and more farming things that I'm going back into. There's also food, but there's nothing that good other than enchanted golden apples. There are spawners, but I don't think we're rich enough to buy anything. So now, I'm just going to use my pickaxe and break cobblestone, so that way I'll have room to place this coal origin thing. don't really know what it does, but I'm just going to mine some cobblestone once I get 25 then I will make a base for the cult or gen <laughs>
I hope you enjoyed that great music. But now it's time to get back to actually playing and building the base. So I think that I'm going to get rid of everything in my inventory put it in the chest. Because that way if I fall off, I won't lose anything. Because I'm not sure if it will delete all my items. So, oops, I threw out my coal, or my cobblestone. But, yeah, let's just build this base right now. I'm being very careful so I don't fall off. Because that would really suck, so... It'll be a second before I'm done, but I can't wait to put down this coal origin and see what it does. So I'm starting with the outer ring, and then I'm going to fill it in with cobblestone. I'm going to make it 5x5, five because five, that should be a big enough base for whatever it spawns. So, we're almost done with this side. And then we just go to the one more side in the center. Oh, I went one too far. So I'm going to go back in and destroy this block with my fist. Yeah, I know I should get a pickaxe, but I don't feel like it right now. And so I'm kind of just going to ignore it, and I'm just going to go mine another cobblestone after it. But for now, I'm going to break it, and then I'm going to fill in the rest of the other side and the center. Yeah, so now I'm going to go back to this chest, grab my pick out, and mine a piece of cobblestone. And then after that, I'm going to hop off this chest and go put it where there's a missing plot. Now I have to go back to my chest and get the coal origin and place it and see what happens. And right now i got to go for lunch, guys, so I'm going to cut back to you in another recording. Hey, I'm back, and I was just at lunch, and as you can see, since I don't have, like, um, a set skin, my skin color changed, so now I'm turquoise. So, yeah, we're just gonna hop back in now, and continue where we left off. It's probably gonna be dark, though, so we'll see what happens. It'll be just a little bit harder to see. But I can't wait to put down our cold origin and see what it does. Okay, we're back in. Now I'm gonna go slash ISGO Drago Island. So here I also built uh, a base out of dirt that I did off camera. So yeah, I'm gonna plant my sapling I got once I destroyed that tree. And yeah, now I have wooden tools and wood and a bunch of other stuff from the tree I destroyed and a sapling that I'm going to plant back. But first, I put down the cold origin and boom! It spawns coal just right on top of it. I figured all this out while I was at lunch. And then you just use your pickaxe to mine it. And I got some mana. So now with my mana, I'm going to buy a netherrack gen, which doesn't give me any mana. And that's kind of annoying, but I'm kind of just going to have to deal with it. And it does sell for more than coal though, so I think I'm going to put it down and just mine more um, coal till I have enough for another coal gen. So I'm not sure what the max amount of gens um, my island can hold, but we're just going to have to find that out, I guess. But yeah, I'm kind of just going to be mining a little bit. So I'm going to be a little bit quiet for a little while, and I'm probably just going to type some stuff in chat. And that's pretty much it. So here we go. I'm just going to start my mining montage and probably ask around a little bit on how to get water, because I'm really curious. And also, I'm going to sell any resources I get. Looks like I get good profit from both, but apparently I was wrong and coal sells for even more. But it's okay. I'm just going to keep mining both and grinding. As you can see, it's very, very slow generation of ores. But we're kind of just going to have to deal with that. So yeah, I think I'm kind of done with mining on camera because you guys are going to get bored out of your minds. So I'm just going to start running around and doing random stuff while I'm mining. Cause otherwise you guys are going to get super bored. I'm probably going to quit mining after a little while because it's really slow. And it's better to do off camera. While I'm waiting, I might as well grind some cobblestone and... Let's see if I can sell it, I don't really know. 
with my lava and ice, I'm curious if I can make a bigger cobblestone gen. And I'm going to try to plant some things with my hoe that I made. Because I want to make money from selling things. From selling farm. Farmed items. But I don't have any water other than that one block of ice. So we'll see. I'm going to ask in the chat and see in the shop if I can get water somehow. I don't see it in the blocks chest. Oh, sorry. The block shop. I don't it's obviously not gonna be an enchants. And I'm gonna keep checking around in shop because I'm kinda surprised. Oops. So I'm going to ask if I can buy water in the shop. I know it sounds like a noob question, but I didn't see it. And I thought it would be in items. So I'm going to ask around a little bit and see if anybody knows. I mean, no one's answered yet, so I'm kind of just going to keep looking around. But I haven't seen anything yet. So I think I'm just going to keep looking and try to find it. But if I don't, then who knows. We're just going to have to deal with it later, I guess. But I don't want to keep boring you guys, so I think I'm just going to grind a little bit more cobblestone or do a little bit of farming. And that's pretty much going to be it for today's video. Let's see if the sapling will grow. I want to check what's slash voting. Whoa. So I just slash voted. I don't really know what that did. But other than give me a ton of money. So, wow. It gave me a lot of things. But I don't really know what they are. And I'm going to put a lot of them away in my chest. Because that was really crazy. And I'm super rich now. I have $40,000. But I'm going to go to the shop and see if I can buy water now with my new cash. I'm going to go to the spawners also to see how much spawners cost. Wow, one big spawner is 3.5 million. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're very, very expensive. I don't think we're going to get them anytime soon. And chickens are even more expensive at 4.5 million. So, for now, I think we're just going to avoid spawners because we really can't afford them. So, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all for watching.